full. As I do live by food, I met a fool who laid him down and basked him in the sun and railed on Lady Fortune in good terms, in good set terms. And yet a motley fool. Good morrow, fool, quoth I. No, sir, quoth he, call me not fool till heaven hath sent me fortune. And then he drew a dial from his poke, and looking at it with lackluster eyes, says, very wisely, it is ten o'clock, thus we may see, quoth he, how the world wags. It is but an hour ago since it was nine, and after one hour it will be eleven. And so, from hour to hour, we ripe and ripe, and then from hour to hour, we rot and rot, and thereby hangs a tale. When I did hear the motley fool thus moral on the time, my lungs began to crow like chanticleer, that fools could be so deep contemplative, and I did laugh. Sans intermission, an hour by his dial. Oh, worthy fool! Motley's the only way. A worthy fool, a, a noble fool, one that hath been a courtier and says, if ladies be but young and fair, they have the gift to know it. And in his brain, which is as dry as the remainder biscuit after a voyage, he hath strange places cramped with observation, the which he vents in mangled forms. Oh, that I were a fool. I am ambitious for a motley coat. Thank you.